I'm Hattie. I'm 83. I'm a mother, a grandmother, and I've been dubbed the oldest cougar in the world. No argument here. I do actually acknowledge my crown as boner queen. Fact. I don't know. I think I've been with a couple of hundred men, 300 men, but who's counting? People are always imagining that a cougar, that they're clawing, they're beasts of prey going after a boy toy or a cub. And I have turned that around. No time have I ever gone after a young man. I wait for a man to come on to me, and that happens quite often. However, I may not be attracted to him. That's my biggest handicap. If I'm not really instantly turned on by a man, I don't, I don't go to bed with him. I have to be in wonderful shape. So I work out in a warm pool for two hours a day. Kicking, twisting, lifting, stretching, everything, everything. So my body feels like I'm giving it what it wants. And that doesn't mean like I'm gonna be, have a six pack, I have a one pack. <laughs> Quite packed. Hi, uh, my name is Ben, and I'm about to have a blind date with Hattie. I have had a thing for older women many times. All my women have been older, but uh, I've never gone 30 plus years before. You never have any sense of who's gonna show up, because somebody says he's tall, dark, and handsome, and then guess what? <laughs> you are. <laughs> my first reaction to Hattie was, this is a very vibrant woman <laughs> for such an old lady. And I have never been on a date with a cougar before, but this may not be my last time. <laughs> you know, from the very first look, you just seemed like terrific to spend some time with him. Whether or not we'll be in bed, <laughs> we never know, do we? <laughs> used to be the newspapers, and now it's online, and I'm on Tinder. I think I've been on less than two years, maybe a year and a half. Whoa, have I learned a lot about men. Fabulous. I feel like confident, satisfied. And I have sex as often as the men who respond on Tinder appeal to me. So I guess I get laid a couple of times a week. The best thing about Tinder is when men describe themselves, they say the nicest things about themselves. They really do. And it's like, you know, like a joke, like men like they're really people and they're not just um, bedmates. But it's nice when it pops up, it's a match. My daughter thoroughly respects, enjoys, and supports me. But we don't talk much about sex. We did when she was younger. Mom, like you said, it's fun. <laughs> My George. <laughs> I don't wish to reinforce the image of an older person who's doddering, hunched over, forgetful, all sorts of repulsive things. And I talk too much about sex. But it's realistic because I think too much about sex. But I speak about it because I want to make sexuality the beautiful, life-affirming gift that it is.